my name's Matt Catling. This is the first time I've seen you. And uh, I've been doing this stuff for quite a while. In fact, I did my first NLP training, NLP practitioner training when I was 12 years old. Um, I was dragged there kicking and screaming. I had enormous anxiety, especially social anxiety. And I'd suffered from bullying, learning disabilities. And, and that was really like the start of my journey. Um, that training was really unbelievable. Um, it started to plant some new ideas and concepts into my unconscious mind and they started to grow. And I really started to, over time, develop excellence in my communication, excellence around my psychology, excellence around our behavior, or my behavior, I should say. And it was really, really profound. I went to, from being able to not really speak in public to suddenly having a voice. Um, and that led me to launch all of my different businesses. I've got multiple, multiple companies. Um, sometimes I get to, I have to hold myself back because there's so many ideas that I come up with. I have to really focus on my biggest challenge. But the big ones that I have are uh, Your Future Now. And Your Future Now is about really helping um, people create freedom in life and business. And, and we run a two-day event called Live It Now, and it's become like a movement, that program. Um, so you can find more about that. We raise money for charity. Um, it's kind of my mission to create a positive world one person at a time. I want to like get this personal development and information out there to the people that really, really need it. So I do provide free courses for the community and Sometimes I feel part of it's like a, a big charity, which is a really, really exciting. And um, I've got another company called The Troublemakers. That's more my business niche. And we help people break out of their jobs, break out of their business, break into life. Um, I call it The Troublemakers because uh, that brand actually came from my school principal who expelled me. And uh, he called my year The Troublemakers because it was the worst year that it ever came through. Half the school walked out in protest. And um, so I was able to come back, do my HSC, they turned it into a suspension. And I thought to myself, you know, entrepreneurs are troublemakers and what if we could replicate that schoolyard experience, the troublemakers that was born. And so we have a whole lot of fun. We run networking events, the troublemakers network. Um, we run a whole heap of parties. And I think what I'm most proud of is that you know, I've kind of got this mission of helping a million people a year. And um, in our events, we've had over 100,000 people now and the ripple effect is touching millions of people. My big thing is there's a lot of people out there that teach mindset. There's a lot of people that teach more strategy, how to. And if you often go to events, even the presenters say 80% is mindset, 20% is strategy. And so the people that teach strategy bash the mindset people, the mindset people bash the strategy people. And I thought, well, what if we put it all together? And that's what I'm really passionate about. And so I really help people build a foundation with the mindset side. So we look at rejection. Are you rejecting yourself? Are you rejecting other people? Are you rejecting the opportunities that are in front of you? And we turn that into acceptance where you fully start to accept yourself. And that's, that's so amazing because it's not, you're not putting on confidence anymore. It's just a natural confidence that starts to grow. And when you can fully accept yourself and you can fully accept other people, and as you fully accept other people, you guessed it, opportunities come from people in community. So if you're accepting different people, bringing different people into your life, which is often a sign of growth, um, then obviously the opportunities are going to be enormous. And so I like to have a foundation of that in terms of the mindset when I'm working with people. Then I like to put a structure in place. You can have a structure of fixing, and the fixing is, um, you know, I need to fix this, I need to fix this, then I can have what I want, or you can have a structure of creating. And so I then like to put a community around people, community is key, which really supports and fosters that, you know, <laughs> leverage for you to be able to, you know, step up and take action because you've got other people around you that are doing it and then bolting on like the best strategies. And so I find that that is a winning formula and that's what's unique about my company. Um, and it seems to be working. We'll share some results with you, um, um, you know, after this presentation or uh, after the uh, freedom release technique. Sorry, rejection release system. I've got so many techniques. So um, before we kind of like fully jump into it, I wanted to share like this brand that I have at the moment. Um, I created uh, the group. If you're watching this, I don't know if you're on my Beyond the Crisis Facebook group, the Rise of the Authentic Leader, and that's what I really think is happening in the world at the moment is when there is a crisis, it's an opportunity for awakening. And that's what I do. I use the crises to be able to uncover things that I wouldn't know about myself. And so I created the Beyond the Crisis Facebook group really because 
because I was fed up with people getting angry at each other, rejecting each other. And I thought, no, let's look beyond the crisis. We have a new accelerated world that is happening at the moment. And it requires a new you. It requires a new level of leadership. And I don't know if you've ever watched like Beyond 2000 back in the day and it was talking about all the possibilities of the future. That's what the Beyond the Crisis is all about. This isn't like an anti-vaccine or anything like that. No, no, no. This is like, let's stop talking about the crisis. Let's start talking about opportunities. Let's take a new level of leadership, an authentic level of leadership. And that's what I believe. There is a paradigm that is shifting over the next 10 years. The era of the wounded leader is over and it's creating space for the rise of the authentic leader. And that's where you just connect to your truth. Um, you get on a true target and what you tap into is unlimited amounts of energy and focus and creativity. And, and so I'm really passionate about this concept and also the concept of like playing a bit of a game. Like when you start to play life um, and you start to treat it as a bit of a game, you start to get more creative. You start to figure things out. When you take the emotion out of things and you start to look at your relationships and you start to look at your leadership in your relationships, I'm like, you know, to get your relationships to the next level, it requires often a new level of leadership or a new level of connection. The same is in the wealth area of your life. The same is in, you know, the business, career, health, all of these areas. And it's really unleashing that authenticity. And so we have like this challenge that we're doing with people and, and, and it's called the Authentic Leader Challenge, Three Day Challenge. It's on the Beyond the Crisis group. And if you haven't done it already, please do it and start to maybe come into this and start to look at it. Because I believe like this, what if this is a bit of a game? And as we start to like look at ourselves and start to do the work on ourselves, we start to unlock a new level of authentic power and with that comes clarity that starts to come through, like ideas that start to come through. And then as you execute those ideas, often what happens is, is that you start to get increasing levels of freedom in life and business. And so if you're interested in creating a bit of freedom, um, whether it be inside or outside, make sure you do the, um, do the challenge. You can see the link there to our Facebook group and um, there's links to the challenge there as well. So in terms of the game, there is typically levels to a game. And I just wanted to share these levels really quickly with you. And so if we look at it here, I believe level number one is to unlock your authentic power. And what we do is do a freedom plan. And this freedom plan actually works out what freedom means to you, the type of leadership that it's going to take for you to get there. Um, level two is emotional freedom. Or if you look at it, overflowing, overflowing with energy overflowing with love, overflowing with wealth and abundance. And that's what starts to happen. Like, what is your relationship to health? What is your relationship to the relationship area of your life? What is your relationship to wealth? If you're avoiding that stuff, let me tell you, you are in underflow, not overflow. So level number two is we want to heal these wars inside. A lot of people go to war on themselves. A lot of people attack themselves. That's kind of the old way of personal development. That stuff's not going to work in the future because we have an accelerated world. We can't do the, the feast and famine cycles anymore. Okay, We've got to set a structure where we are overflowing and that means that we could just consistently growing over time and it kind of compounds. The next level is, is once you create the space inside and you start to overflow, new ideas start to come through. And this is where like your true voice starts to become louder. This is what I say to people like, you know, if you listen to a false voice, like some of the voice in your head, often parents or media or whatever it is, and you make life decisions on that voice, you'll be on a false target. But if you discover your true voice and turn it from a, a whisper to a roar, and you start making life decisions from your true voice, you get on a true target. And that's where that unlimited energy and flow starts to happen. And instead of adding things, you start dropping things, you start creating space, you bring new people, new opportunities into your life. Now with that, what starts to happen is you start to create total freedom in life and business. And so if you would like to look at this, um, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to have a freedom plan um, where we can look at what level that you are at, what a leadership is required, and, um, and maybe do some interventions with you as well. So what's the next step? Are you ready to play this game that we've been talking about? So one part is, you know, do that three-day authentic leader challenge. 
But if you're like me, who's a little bit intense, you want to get into this, um, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to have a freedom planning session. As you know, COVID's kind of releasing. We're now free. Um, so if you want to experience some of these interventions like I just did um, and really work out what level of freedom you're at and if you want to, you know, turn rejection into acceptance, move to emotional freedom and then total freedom in life and business, I believe we're meant to be free, everybody. This, this whole concept of scarcity and shortage and lack, I believe it's man-made. It's time to tap into a new level of abundance, a new level of leadership, a new level of creativity. And so we've got uh, 10 freedom plan sessions available. Um, they're completely free. <laughs> um, if you would like a freedom plan, just reach out at support at yourfuturenow.com.au. If you need anything, just reach out at support at yourfuturenow.com.au. Or if you're on our Facebook page, Beyond the Crisis, The Rise of the Authentic Leader, just reach out, just message me or message my team. Um, we'd love to help you and, and make sure you're really, really committed because these freedom plans are life changing. So we've got 10 of these available and, and what I'm really excited to say is our live events are coming. Um, my two-day event, Live It Now, um, we have dates, so you can check out liveitnow.com.au. Um, we've got a new one-day event called The Rise of the Authentic Leader, so stay tuned. If you want some tickets for that, reach out and support at yourfuturenow.com.au. These two events are basically free as well. So enormous opportunities to be part of this incredible authentic leader tribe. And, and this is what I want to say again, move beyond this crisis. It's time to step up. And it's time to create success in this accelerated world requires a new you to be able to do that. The old industrial revolution thinking is over. It's time for a new you, for a new world.